The sun is shining bright these days here in Hampshire County. Spring has finally arrived. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. After one of the worst winters we've had in a long time, this is a welcome relief to see the sun shining. We took our cameras out and went across the county to find out what people are up to these days since the weather's gotten nice. The signs of spring are making themselves known all across Hampshire County these days. It wasn't that long ago that it looked like this outside. Wow. But now the birds are singing, children are playing outside, plants are beginning to bloom, baseball is being played with people soaking up the sun. Fishermen are working the streams like this gentleman at Mill Creek who had caught his limit the previous day. Calves are being born on the farms. The lawn mowers are being cleaned off and people are making plans for warm weather activities. And your name? My name is Donna. Donna, the weather has gotten really nice now and we're through that uh, nasty winter. What have you been doing since the temperatures are, uh, f have risen? Well, it's been wonderful this week. I coach, uh, my husband and I coach tennis at the high school and we've been outside all week playing. We just now got all, uh, last week was the first that we got all the snow off the courts so that we could uh, get out and play so it's been wonderful this week. My name is Ruby Kessner. And now that the weather is nice and warmed up what are you doing? Cleaning up my yard. What did you think of this winter? We had an awful lot of snow and cold and everything I didn't else. like it at all. <laughs> In a word what would you uh, sum up the winter uh, as? Terrible. <laughs> it was a bad one. It was a hard winter. What's some of the other things you'd like to do now that it's getting nice out? Uh, work in my flowers, uh, clean the porches, think about spring cleaning. Sherry. Sherry, where are you from? I'm from Maryland originally and now I live in Augusta. Sherry, now we've had a hard winter, now the sun is shining, the weather is nice. What's the, on your mind, what would you like to be doing now that the weather is nice? I would like to take my dogs down to the river and go swimming and just sit by the river. I'm Pam Bittinger. And I'm Renee Bittinger. Pam, where are you from? I'm from Slainsville. I'm ready to go horse riding and camping. How about you? What, do you, what would you like to do? I enjoy going horseback riding and camping as well. Um, I can't wait to get out there and do it again this year. I'm here at the Hampshire High School Baseball Game and what's your name? McKenna. Your name? Asher. Asher. Parker. What would you like to do now that it's getting nice out? How about you McKenna? Um, play. Play? How about you Asher? Play baseball. Play baseball. Play baseball? Softball. Softball. Softball? What else are you going to do now that it's nice out? Um, basketball. Because I have a court in my house. The greenhouses are opening and getting ready for spring. We stopped by Abundant Life Greenhouse in Shanks, West Virginia and spoke with their grower and landscape manager, Leah Calvitis, to find out what is happening there. And mostly what's going on in the greenhouse right now is seeding the vegetables. That's our biggest priority at this point. We started seeding tomatoes on February 26th and we've been seeding large crops of tomatoes, peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, which will be what we're selling in early May, which is our busiest season. So we have 30 different kinds of tomatoes, 17 different kinds of peppers, a little bit of everything. And Leah, what was your impression of this winter we just had? Well, pros and cons. I think that this winter will make for a great growing season. Puts lots of moisture in the soil, nitrogen, help to kill off a lot of the bugs and diseases. So we're looking forward to a really good growing season. So what's the first sign to you that spring is here? What really brings it home for you? Well, in the greenhouse, for me personally, it's when that first little red cherry tomato plant pops through the soil and then we all get excited and we party and say, spring is here. But outdoors, it's the crocuses, of course. I'm Greg Larry, reporting for HampshireReview.com.